We begin with breaking news for the first time tonight. We're seeing body camera footage from the night a man was shot and killed in his home by Fort Myers police officers during a standoff. They do this no more. Okay. They can't do this no more. This is all I've been going through with this boy. Christopher Jordan died last month on Stella Street, 45 minutes into his standoff with police. His sister had called 911, saying she felt threatened by her brother, and officers rushed to the scene. Fort Myers police is standing strong, insisting they thought Jordan was armed when shots were fired. But his family and the NAACP have a different version of the story. They claim that Jordan was unarmed and wrongfully shot. I dug into the new evidence and listened to the 911 calls from that tragic and controversial night. 38 days after Christopher Jordan was killed in an officer involved shooting, Fort Myers Police Chief Jason Fields had this to say. The officers on scene were operating under the impression, based on multiple factors, that they were dealing with an armed and dangerous individual. The officer involved in the shooting reportedly observed a gun prior to firing his weapon. A video posted to FMPD's Facebook page also included the 911 call from Jordan's sister and body camera video of her telling officers Jordan was threatening her with a gun. Did he present a firearm and point it towards you? Yes. It's it looked like it was a, a, a part of my magna or something like that. But it didn't show a gun or the moment Jordan was killed. And Jordan's family and the NAACP say without that, it proves nothing. Where the gun at? He still ain't seen no gun. They showed the video where he had a gun. They admit Jordan's sister lied about the gun and that it was wrong. His sister had no business saying what she said. But they also say FMPD was aware of problems she and her brother had had in the past and that he had never been violent. They knew of the relationship between this brother and this sister because they have been there several times. And they feel if he was white, the officers on scene may have waited longer before pulling the trigger. We've seen FMPD stay all day, all night to de-escalate a situation. You only took 45 minutes. The context of this is that he's just a and I'm in the community. The NAACP is sending this letter to the state attorney's office as they continue pushing for criminal charges to be filed against the officer who fired the shot that ended Jordan's life.